Shuffle, shuffle. Okay, okay. <laughs> You didn't go to Mayumi-chan? You usually rush into places like that with your camera. Well, you know, I didn't really feel like getting stampeded by a bunch of men, you know. We'll see new girls anyways. And on this episode of J5 vs Shuffle, Nerone's Rao rematch, whatever I end up calling the series, we'll be meeting the new students finally, because last time I thought that's what we were doing, but then it just didn't happen. This game is very slow. It's very slow paced. But yeah, we should be meeting the new students in this episode. It's gonna be fun, hopefully. I hope all of you that have been watching the saga have been having fun with this, because this used to be my bread and butter content before I started doing Hyper Talks, and I, last episode I did say, like, this series was a one-off, but if you guys want me to replay other visual novels, or play new visual novels, then I would be happy to do that. In order to tell me if you want more, you like, comment, subscribe, and hit the bell. You know, all that stuff. You know, like, because you liked the video. And you comment saying, I like these little visual novel playthroughs that you're doing, Josh. They're, they're funny. I'm like, oh, that part that happened in this episode. Oh, that was weird. And, you know, we can talk and shit. Uh, I don't fucking know what I'm saying. Uh, yeah, shuffle. <laughs> Why are my intros always two minutes long? I know I normally take like a 10 second breather at the beginning of each episode. It's really been like, okay, now it's two minutes, but I have fucking. I already went! I got both of their pictures! Oh, oh, Mayumi was just too fast for everyone. Fucking Sonic the Hedgehog. Oh, Speaking of, uh, Sonic, Sonic Superstars. Looks really fun. God, I'm dating these episodes. Because, they, oh, I don't know when these episodes are coming out, but I am recording this batch of episodes that I have been recording. It's all been on the same day. This episode and all the previous ones have all been on the same day. It's been the 15th. We don't know a lot about Sonic Superstars. We know a bit, but uh, I'm just dating the video at this point. She takes out her, her 5 megapixel digital camera. Why is that specific? I think that's specifically mentioned because it's like, oh, that's a very high-end camera. But again, this is 2001 writing, so... I say this like I know what a fucking megapixel is. But I'm guessing it's so specific because it's meant to be like, Oh, look at that high-tech camera. Either that or the joke is that Miyumi's got a shit camera. <laughs> I would have been glad to show these pictures if they asked nicely. But these guys are so dumb. I wonder how... I wonder how she got their pictures in, in the chaos. She truly is mysterious. She said she got there before, dude. Or did I read that wrong? This is why we have the log. Oh, oh, I forgot how fast that thing can be. It snaps. That's the issue. I went already. Right. I guess it doesn't I guess it doesn't imply that she went there before the men, but in my head I saw that she was there first, then ran when she saw the men. If I'm not mistaken, I think. I think there will be trouble. I think there will be trouble ahead. Why? Is there something unusual about them? They're attracting a load of men and they're in your class, Rin. What do you mean? What do you mean? Oh, yeah. Do you want to see them? She smiles. Intentional? Intentional? She smiles intentionally. Am I dyslexic? Is that right? <laughs> and hands me her camera. I'm going to pass. The homeroom is starting soon. I'll just save the surprise for last. Why, Rin? Aren't you curious? Aren't you the kind of guy that's curious about girls? Rin, you're an enigma. Hmm, you seem so calm. I guess you're used to seeing pretty girls around you. I mean, yeah, Kaide and you. <laughs> but apparently Rin doesn't like me, or me. I'm sick of hearing- I'm sick of hearing that- that same t oh, same. I thought it was seem. I can wait. To be fair, the text is very thin. I know what I mean by that. I'm sick of hearing that same tease. I'm going... I'm not going to give you any reaction to that. kaidi has been... been so devoted to you, right? I'm just taking care of him because I like to do so. Because apparently that's your life meaning. If you didn't, you'd fucking, I don't know, not want to live. I've played with Rao and I still don't fucking remember anything. Before Kaide finishes talking, the hallway starts to get crowded. Apparently, everybody is coming back into the room! The door swings open and the guys come back inside the room, as if they just got back from heaven. Itsuki is also in the crowd. Of course he is! Yeah. What can I say? I realize how big this world is. 
Just like what I told you. Just like what? What? Like just like what that guy told me the other day. Oh, is he all about the devil man from the beginning of the playthrough? I think he is. What can I say? I realize how big the world is. Oh yeah, because it was like, ah, I'm giving that a woman like an A plus. And it's like, dude, there's so many more women. If you give her an A, who's gonna get an S or a P rank? Because this is a fucking pizza tower reference. I would have been so ashamed by now if I didn't really give that lady 80 points. I don't think I read that right, but fuck it. Itsuki speaks with excitement while pulling his his glasses up to it with his finger. Oh, yeah, we do have glasses on. It's, it's not like I never noticed them, but I just never acknowledged it. He just has glasses, like, that's it. But the game's directly referencing it. It's like, oh, yeah. If you're... If you're that impressed, they must be really pretty. I think you'll be shocked too, once you see that beautiful smile. Oh, we will be shocked. It reminds me of the day I met Kaede-chan for the first time. The door opens at that moment. Yeah, can we interrupt the- in interrupt? Interrupt! Interrupt the fucking sim. The door swings open at that moment. Wait, aren't I replaying a visual novel just to experience one girl's route again for the 20th anniversary so I can try and realise why I like the girl so much in the first place? And why I like the game in the first place so much? Because I forgot everything and I'm just kind of a weird fuck? Maybe I am a simp. <laughs> <laughs> Miss B walks into the classroom with the attendance book. Alright, take your seats, especially the guys. I understand where you're coming from, but you're getting the yellow card if you, if you do the same thing again. Yes, ma'am! Yes, ma'am! Mayumi was Tristan, wasn't she? No, she was Taya. Clearly and vividly refuse that by you. Hyper false card! Is this true that you have another p potential girlfriend? Hyper Force Lovers! There's nothing wrong with that, right? Okay, since I have played up to this point in the game, I should actually watch the previous seven episodes of J5 vs Shuffle, now it is well, and uh, see what voices I gave everyone. All the guys go back to their seats. <sighs> Miyumi might fit Valio, because there's a there's another character who doesn't have a who we haven't met yet who doesn't have a voice. Oh my god, I was like gonna give her a Valley accent, but I think that fits Miyumi better. Fuck! Yet again, the teacher's voice changed between the times we've seen her, so all the guys get back in the seats. Miss B looks at the hopeless hopeless expression of the guy. Hopeful expression of the guy and sighs deeply. I had in my head that she was looking at them hopelessly. I don't want to waste my time explaining. You guys are getting you guys are getting ready to explode. Yeah, look at her. She's looking at everyone like they're hopeless. Come in, you two. <gasps> Is it finally time? The, the thing that should have happened an episode ago? <laughs> they have a specific cheering sound effect, what the fuck? All the guys in the class cheer up. Why is that confetti? <laughs> a fire! The firecracker pops out of nowhere and everyone starts clapping their hands. Jesus fucking Christ, I forgot how insane this is. I thought my girlfriend was the president was fucking weird. The two girls slowly come inside the room. <laughs> what the fuck? I forgot they did this! <laughs> I forgot they did this! <laughs> oh my god, what the f <laughs> fucking fake out. A muscular man, right. Fuck, I forgot what his voice is. Oh, I remember what his voice is. Yogi, something, something, Millennium Cards. Ah, ha, ha. The school in, the school in the human world seems to be pretty and seems to be an interesting place. Mm. You're, you're right. I, I feel like I'm going to, I feel like I'm going to become younger just being surrounded by the young, beautiful ladies. High expectations lead to high disappointment. Nah, mate, I fucking laughed. That was good. <laughs> That must be the best way to describe what's going on in this classroom right now. Except for the one autistic guy in the back of the class sat behind me laughing his fucking head off. Sometimes she's a girl, I don't understand. The cheering voices, the firecracker, and the round of applause. And round of applause end, and there's a silence in the room. What's wrong? What's wrong with you guys? I'm just... You are... You are so quiet now, huh? Where did all the energy... Where did all that energy go? 
Don't be intimidating. Don't intimidate them, Shin-chan. They're just young kids being shy. Shin-chan, a nickname for muscular men used by handsome men. Why is that such a specific, specific thing? Oh, I remember those days. They were just young... They were just young chicks, huh? What? The muscular man is dressed in a kimono and looks out of place. The other guy is... Is a skinny, handsome guy with a mysterious mis mystique? Yeah. Wait, that's the guy I saw the other day. Indeed, I am. I indeed. Wait, I'm indeed in shock. I'm trying to process. I'm trying to process my paused brain and speak to Itsuki in front of me. So Itsuki, they are the top class guys. I mean, their characteristics. Their characteristics seem to be top class, but. I admit that they were both pretty handsome. Uh, not my type. I think many ladies will fall for them if they try to seduce them. Win! They're adults! I I know I know it's like, oh he doesn't know. But look at them! Itsuki gathered up his, his thoughts and talks to me. You gotta be kidding me! Binky boy! You gotta be freaking kidding me! Oh my good god! He shakes his head quickly. I was gonna say rapidly, but alright. I look behind me. Hey, Miyumi. No, 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 no. They're, they're not them. They're, they are not them. No, 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 no. Can we hear that again, actually? That was kind of cute. Oh, I need to advance. I guess these two are not the new students. Well, no shit. They were described to be beautiful. Well, I guess you could say they're beautiful men, but uh, they're not in uniform. They also look like older men win what the fuck do you mean uh, can we go back to the log and hit no 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 i guess these two are not the new they seem to be they seem to be fun people but i'm relieved to know that they they aren't the ones so which little boy is it? Uh oh, what? What do you mean? Wait, wait a minute. Oh, there he is! Oh my God, there he is! I fucking hate Cole can't save the kids. It's ruined the fucking life for me. Oh my God, the neighbors are gonna hate me because I'm shouting so much. Cole can't save my fucking kids. Has ruined that life for me. Oh, there he is. Yeah, he is! Anyways... <laughs> the devil looks at my face all of a sudden. It's bright red! Please don't look. I look embarrassed. But I'm really just lacking of air because I scream. Let me see. Oh, that boy, huh? He has a pretty good look. Oh, thank you. Oh, wait, you're on about Rin. Fuck me, I guess. This time, the god looks at me. Oh, yeah, he's got smaller ears, so he must be a god. Oh, an angel, but whatever. Then they both start coming towards me. Uh oh. Stranger danger, fuck off! Hi, Wing Chun. I'm sorry for what happened the other day. However, I think I got to know you better. You seem to, you seem to be a sincere fellow. A man who needs to be sincere. I read that wrong. A man needs to be sincere. You must be able to love one woman, women, fuck, one woman with all your heart. This is very important. This doesn't sound very persuasive with this flirt. It's, what? It doesn't sound very persuasive when his when this flirt is saying it. Oh, he's calling the man a flirt. Okay, yeah. So, it was like, he's flirting? Oh no, he's being called a flirt. Yeah, I get, I get it, I get it. Neri ne chan no koto, yoroshiku tanonda yo. Sorry, I can't start sm I can't stop smiling. That fucking name just shows up and it's just like, oh, oh, who? Who? Please be good to my Neri ne chan. Actually, I need to hear how he says her name. Because I do not- Oh, I need to advance. He forcibly grabs me and shakes my hand. His hand is full of strength. Okay, I need to hear how he says Nerine's name. Because I still don't know if I'm saying it right or not. Nerine-chan no koto. Nerine-chan. Nerine. Nerine-chan no koto. Nerine. 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 Right, I'm close. There's just a bit of a pronunciation difference, but I'm fucking close. It's better than Nerine. Nerine? Nerine. Consider you, Nerine. It's Nerine. Because I used to call her Nerin. Nerine. Because I thought that's how you said her name, but no, it's Nerine. Nerine chan no koto. Nerine. Nerine chan. Nerine chan. Nerine chan no koto. Nerine chan. Nerine. Right. Nerine. It's, it sounds like Nerine. <laughs> Nerine. Right. Nerine. 
Fuck it, hold on, what? Neri ne chan no koto. Neri ne chan no koto. Neri ne chan, right. Neri ne. Neri ne. Neri ne. Neri ne. Neri ne. I tried to say a name properly and it just devolves into Neri ne 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 chan. Right. Neri ne. Neri ne. Neri ne. Neri ne. I always had a feeling I was pronouncing it wrong. I guess it, I guess Neri ne is close enough. Oi, 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 oi. Hey, hey! Hey, hey! Don't steal that part from me! My boy? Boru? Hey, hey! Don't steal that part from me, my boru! Me boru, a nickname for a handsome man used by a muscular man. Why is that so specific? Are you sure that's just not their nicknames for each other? Oh, wait. Oh, wait. A nickname of handsome man used by muscular man. Not by a handsome man to a muscular man. No, it is the nicknames for each other. Okay, I just read that shit wrong earlier. <laughs> So just to put everything straight, the, the two the two names that were given explanations are just the nicknames for each other. Right, yes, 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 yes. yes. Okay, I get it, I get it, I get it now. It's because they're using their descriptor names, you know, muscular man and handsome man. My my dyslexia, my auto, the autocorrect, fucking auto, what, what do you call it again? Like predictive text, that's it. The predictive text that my brain seems to do kind of made it. You know, a handsome man talking to a muscular ha man. It's like, why is that so specific? It's so specific because it's referring to the two characters, not the two types of characters. Besides, I think you're wrong. A man needs his strength. You must, you must be strong enough to protect the the lady at any time. I've just remembered. So I just fucking remembered some weird ass law about this game. I'm not gonna mention it until it shows up in the game itself. If it sh. I think it does show up in the game at some point. No, I know it shows up. I just don't know when. I think it does show up in the common world, though. So I will address this weird fucking memory I've had when we encounter it. Like the Ness PK power thing that I referenced before. It seems obvious to hear from this guy. What? Did I miss a line? Oh, yeah, him, him being like, oh, you have to be strong. And it's like, that's coming from you, mate. You seem to have a pretty strong body. Are you, are you sure you're looking at the right? Oh yeah, you're looking at Rin, not me. You seem to have a pretty strong body. So, so you have the potential. Be good to see her. Right, Rin Dono. Dono means Mister. So just Mister Rin. Oh god, those taps were even harder. He taps my shoulder with his big hand. He, he's. He is as strong as expected, and I feel my shoulder getting dislocated. <laughs> I feel my shoulder get dislocated. Ah! What the hell is going on here? Dead! All of a sudden, the god shifts his head to the side. I hear a bang noise as if someone's head was hit by a chair! <laughs> One of the few things that I remember about this game is this man being hit with a fucking chair by his daughter! <laughs> Not this specific scene, hence why I freaked out. Okay, I've kind of spoiled that yes, this this chair gag happens again. But oh my god, it's good. It's fun to see the chair gag has returned. Chair! See ya! I told you not to hit me with a chair! This is the best! This is the best way to calm your excitement! There's Shia! Oh! An angel-like girl appears behind the muscular man. I think we're meeting new students. <laughs> oh! She's the pretty girl that I encountered at the supermarket the other day. She's staring at the muscular man while holding a chair behind her hand. Holding a chair in her hands. She really hit him with a- Did she really hit him with that chair? Yes! <laughs> Guess who's back again?! <laughs> It's never the chance! The reason why we're doing this shit in the first place! You have to take it easy too, father. Lean Summer is confused now. Both girls appear behind Another girl appears behind the handsome man. She's the pretty devil girl that I met in the park that, that day in episode three. What are we on now? Seven? Eight? Huh? Yeah. I didn't mean to confuse him, but I wanted to greet him as I wanted to greet him as your daddy. That, that's why I told you to go visit him tonight, father! Fucking idiot! I'm sorry, my daughter. Please, don't hit me with a chair like Sia did to her father. He came free! I'm not that barbaric, father. Why are you calling me barbaric? <laughs> so, sorry, I'm a writer. I just like doing this shit. But Shin-chan decided that we, should, that we needed to greet everyone that would be in your class. 
Hey, Mobble! Hey, don't say it, Mobble! It's always not Baru, it's Ball. Okay. Hey, Mobble! Don't drag me into this! This was your idea! This was also your idea! But I tried to stop you! You even said that, I'd... that you'd go alone if I didn't come with you! Don't be dirty! Don't be dirty! You came along with me with excitement! Alright, because I have both audio and both my audio and the game audio different from the game and from me, I can do edits like this, hopefully. You both are just, just as guilty! Sure, I'll do something with those lines. Yes. yes. Daddy's times too. What a fucking line. They both see... They both seem upset at all. They both seem upset all of a sudden. Win, did you not just notice that one of them hit their dad with a chair and the other one scolded, scolded him? Are you, like, paying attention? I guess the daughters have more power than the fathers. At the next moment, a nervous voice starts talking to them. Oh yeah, the teacher's here. May I start introducing the girls? Hi. Yes. Miss B starts standing behind, behind the four of them with a fresh smile. A smile that indicates that she wants to destroy them. <laughs> that was a fucking iris owl! Okay! <laughs> <laughs> I have genuinely forgotten how fucking goofy this game is. Like, genuinely, I've forgotten half of the fucking gags in this game. Why was there an iris owl? Oh yeah, because it was like an end of a comedic part, but like, I, I did not think there'd be an iris owl. Because <laughs> this game's fucking... Oh, I've missed this game. The new students are finally introduced. 15 minutes after Homeroom started. And after, what, like an episode and a good, like almost two episodes, we finally get to meet Nerone and Shia. The classmates are hooked on the two girls standing in the front of the classroom. I mean, I personally like Nerone more, but... Baka. I mean, why is she above me? I'm a Lucy Amphis. Listen, that is how you say your name right. I'm a Lucy Amphis. I came from the world of the gods. <laughs> Why the fuck is there the crowd cheer again? It is a long name, so you can call me Shia. My name is Nerone. I come from the world of the devils. I'm actually going to check Lucy Amphis' name. Hold on. Did you even say your own fucking name? Lucy Amphis? Maybe. Maybe she said her name. I don't know. Well, of course she said her name, but, like, I can't recognize it. Whoa! No, no, Please call me Rin, if you like. I'm calling you Nerone. No, no. Rin is too close to Rin. No, wait, they are both called Rin. Esutoma? I'm Esutoma. Suto. Esutoma. I'm Esutoma. Sears father. I am the king of the gods. Just for your information. I am Fobeshi, Nerine chans father, aka the king of the devils. Nice to meet you all. So these two goofballs are the kings of the gods and the devils. Yes, Nerine and Shia are princesses. <laughs> Just because this game can't, can't get any more weird. <laughs> The two of you don't need to introduce yourselves. Miss B kept smiling through her pretty pissed off face. Though she's pretty pissed off. Okay, I did not read that right. Miss B kept her smile, although she's pretty pissed off. I admire her tolerance. Wait a minute. They didn't they just say something serious? Hey, it's Suki. Did, did, did they just say that? Sorry, I'd like a rapid fire of burps right then. Or just weird... Gas exhales. They're not hiccups, but they weren't really burpy either. Shia chan and Nerere chan. Huh? I've never seen. I've never seen beautiful girls like this before. Yeah, I don't think I've encountered someone like Nerere before. I mean, I've liked girl characters, but Nerere has always been someone who's stuck. And again, I don't really know why, hence the replay, and you know, my fascination for the game in general, hence the replay. And yeah, if you've been watching all of these episodes, you, you've already heard my many rants about this fucking game. I wonder if they have boyfriends. That's irrelevant for me though. All I have to do is steal them away. Okay, so it is kind of funny that we made him Marek because haha, stealing, that's a villain thing. 
I have to start by giving a good impression to their fathers. You're gonna go and try to give a good first impression to the king of two different worlds? Alright, Suki, you be you. <laughs> Get lost! <laughs> Damn, Rin has some fucking sass. Hey, Miyumi. Miyumi simply nods at me with an with her mouth open. And opens her mouth? I to I told you there was gonna be some trouble ahead. I can tell by that. I can tell. I can. I can tell that my face is turning pale. And the next moment, Kaide raises her hand in the air. She says her name, Nadeshiko. Um, uh, Miss Nadeshiko, I think I. I think I just heard an unbelievable thing from their mouths. Why did you phrase it like that, Kaide? <laughs> what do they mean by? The kings. Well, isn't it kind of obvious that they rule their worlds, hence king. Now, maybe me going into it with, like, pre-known knowledge. Like, I knew these two were Nerone and Sia's father, and I knew they were the kings, the king of the devils and demons. But by, by the fact that they are called the kings of the gods and devils, like, you can probably safely assume, assume they are, like, the rulers of the entire world that they come from. But with that all said and done, thank you for watching this episode of J5 vs Shuffle Nerone's Rematch, or whatever I end up calling the series. We finally got to meet Nerone and Shia properly. I mean, I know we had encounters with them before in like episode 2 and 3, or was it both episode 3? Either or, I know that we've met them technically already, but now we've actually got to probably meet them, they've been able to transfer into school for some reason, and yeah, they're now part of the regular cast. I mean, they're part of the game's intro, they were part of the dateable cast, of course they were going to be like, main characters, but now we finally get to see them, getting to see them as main characters. So, next time on JPEG vs Shuffle, Nerine is Rao, Nerine is Rematch, whatever we fucking call this, hopefully we get to see more of Nerine. I mean, she is cool too, but this whole video saga is about Nerine, so hopefully we get to see more of Nerine. And with all that said and done, this has been J5, the Hyperforce. I will see you whenever next. Goodbye. Hello.